New restrictions at Donovan State Prison in Otay Mesa mean some incarcerated there are under lockdown again. We know that cases inside the prison are rising, but we don't know how bad it really is. That's because officials refuse to talk about it. Right now, the official case number sits at 10 staff members. Donovan's big outbreak over the holidays infected more than 700 people and killed 19. Our investigative partners at iNews Source are looking into the issues at Donovan. Joining me right now is investigative reporter Mary Plummer to talk more about it. Mary, thanks as always for joining us. Thank you. Uh, Donovan is under another lockdown. How did they get here? You know, it's been a very chaotic few months at Donovan State Prison. Back in December and January, 18 incarcerated people and one staff member died of COVID-19 after a massive outbreak that spread through the prison. Uh, Donovan is among the most hard hit of all prisons in the state. Sources my colleague Jill Castellano and I have talked with say there are a lot of problems inside. Uh, gaps in medical care is one of the most serious. During the most recent winter outbreak, um, our reporting uncovered that three men were found dead or dying in their cells of COVID-19. One of the men's cellmates told us that he was denied medical care when he asked for it. Uh, things had improved, but right now, one housing area is back on lockdown. The rest of the prison is facing lesser restrictions at the moment, but things have been changing very, very quickly uh, over the past few days. And troubling on top of that, your team's report says that Donovan officials are refusing to give accurate information about their outbreak. What is that all about? Well, state prison officials would not comment on specific inmate deaths, citing medical privacy laws. They also gave very few details about this recent outbreak. Uh, the information on the state corrections department website went several days without updates. A visitor information phone line for the prison had incorrect information last week. Really at every turn, things have been very, very far from transparent. Um, but a spokesperson did confirm uh, the, the recent outbreak has taken place, though they have not said much about it, and our request to interview the prison warden have been declined. I will add that sources inside the prison tell us the case numbers may be higher. Uh, one man said a corrections officer announced that there were 15 active COVID cases among the incarcerated population. Uh, the state corrections department denies those numbers and says only staff are infected right now, those 10 active cases, Carlo, that you mentioned. This is all troubling from an accountability perspective, Donovan leaving the public in the dark with this COVID situation. What about family members of inmates who are in there? What kind of apprehension and fear must they be dealing with? We've spoken with family members who are scared and totally frustrated. Um, some blame, blame the prison for mismanagement and believe the lower incarceration rates among staff at Donovan have contributed to problems there. Right now, inmates are vaccinated at a much higher rate uh, than staff members and people working in the prison. I should also note that we interviewed several family members of people who died of COVID-19 during the bad winter outbreak. They told us they had no idea their relatives were sick with COVID until they died and that the prison uh, did not contact them before those deaths. Looking forward to you getting more answers. Mary Plummer with our investigative partner, iNewsource. Check them out at inewsource.org. Thank you as always, Mary.